Potential transfer tug of war as Arsenal and Chelsea are set to battle it out for Ricardo Calafiori. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. And yesterday's video is going to centre around one of the biggest rising stars in Italian football today, Ricardo Calafiori. Now, if you weren't, uh, if you weren't to know who this guy was before the Euros, you certainly do know his name now. For a lot of other people, they have been know they've known this guy for a few years. He is a big rising star of the Italian national side, currently playing his trade in Bologna. And he has been attracting a fair amount of interest with a very good season under his belt and a very good European Championships for him individually, despite obviously Italy being dumped out of the competition at the round of 16 stage by Switzerland. We're going to be talking about the transfer tug of war, the rising interest in him and everything else that goes along with the potential transfer of this 23-year-old centre-back. Before we go any further, I would like to remind you all to please like the video and also subscribe if you're new. Both things are always incredibly greatly appreciated. Get involved in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts, your comments, opinions, predictions, feelings. Whatever you want to call it, that makes for great interest in reading on this uh, on this particular video, this particular topic, this transfer story. I'm sure it will make for interesting and great reading. So please do use and abuse that comment section down below, people. Would love to hear from you all on this. But without further ado, let's go on the video. Let's talk Ricardo Calafiori. And a potential move mainly to Arsenal, but Chelsea are also waiting in the wings. So like I say, this guy has been around for a few years. He's 23 years of age. He's a centre-back. He's been a rising star uh, for Bologna and uh, over the past, uh, I think it's been uh, like a year or two now. In the Italian national side, highly rated. And what we saw of him in this European Championships as well has been nothing short of brilliant. He's been one of the standout players for Italy in the tournament. Not that exactly the bar was exactly set too high on that. But you could see the promise, the potential and the all-round talent that is already there with this guy. Over the course of the tournament, there has been a lot of buzz surrounding this man. And a lot of that buzz is uh, or was seemingly centred around him maybe making, his, uh, making a move from Bologna to Juventus. Financial issues may have put a block on that one. He's also been linked with the likes of Liverpool. Things have gone really quiet on that point. But Arsenal and Chelsea, they are the two stories that are seemingly over the past few days or so are not going away. And you would imagine that now that obviously Italy have been dumped out of the Euros, things may move quickly on this. Things may move very, very quickly on this now that t clubs don't have the excuse of what well, is a major tournament going on. We don't want to obviously distract the player from, from that tournament. So we'll just get on with our other business and then come back to it once the tournament is over. So now that the tournament is over for Calafiori, I guess it's open season. Fabrizio Romano? Well, obviously the man in in the know on these kinds of things. And especially when it comes to Serie A, this guy is normally right bang on the money. Has said today that Arsenal and Chelsea remain both interested in Ricardo Calafiori, as revealed last week. Both clubs have explored conditions of the deal. Expensive as Basel will get almost... Uh, Basel, why did I say Basel? Like, it was Basel Brush. Basel will get almost 50% of the fee. Uh, Calafiori gave green light to Juventus, but Bologna preference is to sell abroad. So Bologna don't obviously want to sell to a rival, sell to a, uh, sell, sell to a league rival. And of course, that sticking point of 50% uh, of the fee will go to Basel is also a point that uh, Bologna are also having to strongly consider within their negotiations as well. There's been conflicting reports on this. Romano's obviously putting this out there. There's been conflicting reports that Bologna are seemingly confident that they may be able to convince Calafiori to stay maybe an extra year or so, depending on obviously how things go. Um, and then there are other reports suggesting that Bologna are also open to negotiations, but they will need a high enough bid for obviously them to, to have their hand uh, or their arm twisted in these negotiations. So it's a very interesting transfer situation to be in and obviously to watch over uh, from afar. 
All I know about this guy, I don't watch Serie A religiously. I don't watch Bologna religiously. So I only have the little bits and pieces that I've that I've watched the odd game or two here and there. Normally, if you know, it's maybe like a, a, a big game, like a, they were against a bigger team. I've always been back to Bologna, or like an AC Milan or an Inter Milan or something. Um, and of course, I, I know a lot about him now from obviously watching him in the Euros. But the little bit, little bits that I've heard and seen and read and, and whatever, I like this guy. Yes, he is still very much rough around the edges. Yes, he is still positionally, his positional awareness is still a little bit sketchy at times. And he's a little bit rash in, in going in for certain challenges and, and tackles and things of that nature. But you can see the potential that is there. You can see the promise that this guy possesses. To go on and become one of the top level defenders of the modern game. This guy is a bit of a throwback to a no-nonsense defender. But also has the capabilities of playing the ball out from the back. This guy is very good with the ball at his feet. And you could see that with the way that he set up the goal. That kept Italy in the Euro 2024 competition in the group stages. Literally, Italy were seconds away from being knocked out of the competition. And then with the last kick of the game, Italy score. But the man who set up that goal was the man who stepped out from centre-back. The man who is named Riccardo Calafiori. I like this guy. I, 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 I like the tools in his arsenal. I like the potential of him I like the promise so I'm a little bit annoyed as to why Liverpool have seemingly dropped out the race there's no mention from Romano at all on um, on on the on, on any Liverpool link despite obviously we know that it was reported over the course of the past week or two weeks before obviously uh, Romano tweeted that Liverpool was seemingly keeping an eye on this guy they were seemingly keeping tabs and monitoring him on their on their particular radar, so I'm a little bit annoyed that seemingly Liverpool have uh, dropped out on the race because he does seem like the kind of defender which I wouldn't say starts ahead of the likes of Canate and Van Dijk if they're both fit, or even Joe Gomez if obviously Gomez was to come back into the fold as a centre back, but he could certainly be someone for the future, and when he obviously builds up builds himself up in the Premier League, gets used to the physicality aspect, gets used to the the way that they play and everything, could certainly be one for the future. And I think that's going to be the same wherever he goes, really. If he goes to a Chelsea, for example, there's obviously a massive project going on there. He fits the age bracket that Chelsea are, are, are more than likely looking for and more so looking for than, than any other age kind of bracket. Um... Young player, a lot of potential, a lot of promise. Probably won't be, apart from maybe fee-wise, won't be that expensive in terms of wages. And then you look at Arsenal as well, who had one of the... Well, they had the best defensive record in the Premier League last year. Obviously, there is room for improvement in all areas um, for every team. I'm not just caught, I'm not just singling out Arsenal. But there are always going to be room for improvement with all teams in all areas. And teams should not stop looking at ways to improve certain aspects of their team, no matter how good they are. The defence of Arsenal last season, like I say, was, was, was brilliant, was incredible. But there are still ways that you can potentially improve it. Maybe not for the immediate future, but like I say, maybe for the long-term future. Maybe Calafiori is going to come in and he's going to play behind the likes of Gabriel and Saliba and then over the course of the next year or two maybe he starts to challenge Gabriel for that left centre back position this is also a player who can be versatile enough to play left back how long term thinking that is and how um, and, and how like longevity wise that is going to be good for I don't necessarily know he's primarily a, a centre back of course but again, there are options there to be explored. And I can understand why these kinds of teams are circulating around this potential deal and are monitoring it very closely. 
overall, I like this guy. I think, and I think he's got a lot of options available to him. Like I say, the Juventus deal seems completely dead in the water considering their financial position and considering the fact that Bologna are seemingly not entirely um, uh, got their heart set, shall we say, on giving him to a Italian rival. A move abroad, though, could certainly be the case. And it does seem more likely that it is going to be the Premier League if it is to be one. Chelsea, like I say, the project on paper is interesting, to say the least. Whether that's a good interesting or a bad interesting, we'll have to wait and see. But it could be interesting nonetheless. Um, for Arsenal, I don't think he's a starter right off the bat. I think, obviously, he'll have to grow into the Premier League and grow into the Arsenal team especially. But you can understand why Mikel Arteta would have would have him in, in their squad. A guy who can play the ball out from the back as well as being a bit of a no-nonsense defender. Still doing his job. Positional-wise, um, still needs a bit of work. But there is a lot there that he can mould into his image. And there's a lot there that obviously he can grow into himself. Um, and, and like I say, the, the main aspect of it is being a ball-playing defender. That's the main aspect as to why, obviously, he's, he's highly rated and obviously highly thought of amongst a lot of top European teams, especially from the Premier League, of course, because that is a lot of the way now that modern-day football is played. Calafiori fits the bill. Like I say, Arsenal, I can understand why they're going for him. I can also understand why Liverpool would go for him, but it seems that we've dropped out of the race but depending on who you listen to today there are a lot of things buzzing around Ricardo Calafiori um, a lot of interesting takes a lot of interesting um, views and a lot of interesting conflicting reports of done deals and ballpark figures for, for, for transfer fees and things of that nature so this certainly is a transfer story for you to keep your eyes and ears on um, uh, throughout the course of the transfer window. I expect a lot of movement now to start taking place as obviously the Euros is kind of over and the Copa America, I know the Copa America is still going on, but um, I think a lot more stuff will get done now that the Euros is obviously nearing its conclusion. We are down to the quarterfinal stages after all. So it could be very interesting to see if any of these kinds of deals that you're hearing about, and especially this one, um, is going to be... Um, moving a lot quicker now, shall we say, as this summer transfer window goes on. But look, like I say, bottom line here is that Ricardo Calafiori is certainly a man in demand this summer. It's going to be very interesting to see um, how this one turns out. Staying at Bologna isn't out of the realms of possibility, but I think that if the likes of Arsenal and Chelsea are genuinely serious on this guy... The likelihood is is that a, a deal will be struck, in my opinion. But I'm interested to know, of course, what you guys think and feel on this. These are just the thoughts, comments, opinions, predictions, feelings, whatever you want to call it, this guy. I want to know what you guys think. What do you make of Ricardo Calafiori? What do you make of him as a player? What do you make of him um, in the Euros this uh, this summer, the, the, so, the season that he's had at Bologna? And, of course, uh, what do you make of where his footballing future may lie. Will it be with a Juventus who may somehow pull the money out of thin air to sign him? Or do you think it will be abroad? Or do you think it will be uh, with Arsenal or Chelsea? Or maybe someone else is waiting in the wings to pass. Maybe Liverpool reignite their interest. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think and feel on this potential uh, transfer story down below in the comment section. Your thoughts, your comments, opinions, predictions, feelings. Whatever you want to call it will make for great and interesting reading. So please do use and abuse that comment section, people. would love to hear from you all on that. Otherwise, hit the like button on the way up. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you are new or want to see more content like this. Both things will always and forever be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch Talks video. And I'll see you speak to you all again soon in another video or live stream or whatever it may be. Cheers, guys. Thanks everyone for watching. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your night. Speak to you all again very, very soon.